Hello there, I'm Ganesh from LearnEnglishLab.com and in this lesson we're going to discuss the difference between the verbs say, tell, speak and talk. Now the first thing for you to understand is that there's a difference between the verbs say and tell and speak and talk and that difference is that say and tell focus on the specific details of a conversation. Speak and talk focus on the general topic of the conversation. Here's an example. Jen spoke to me about her vacation. Here you know that there were two people in the conversation, Jen and me, and you also know the general topic of the conversation. The general topic is her vacation. So Jen spoke to me about her vacation, but you don't know any of the details of the conversation. But have a look over here. Jen said she was planning to go on a vacation next month. Here you know some details about her vacation. And the detail here is that she's going to go on a vacation next month. In this sentence, we've used the verb speak. The past tense is spoke and it focuses on the general topic. And here we've used the verb say, past tense said, and you know some specific details about this conversation. Now let's talk about the difference between the verbs say and tell and how to use them correctly. There are two important differences between say and tell. Uh, the first difference is that if you want to repeat someone's words, always use say. Like in this example over here. He said, I want coffee. Imagine that someone said this to me uh, sometime in the past, maybe this morning or yesterday. I am repeating the exact words that I heard. So my friend said, I want coffee. These are his exact words. So because I am repeating the words, I have to use say. And the past tense of say is said. When we do this, when we repeat someone's words, it's known as direct speech. So if you're uh, using direct speech, only use say. Now the verb tell is often used in indirect speech. Okay? Like this example over here. He told me he wanted coffee. Now what we're doing here is we're not repeating the words, but we're focusing on the information from the conversation. Okay. Um, so he told me he wanted coffee. It's the same meaning in both sentences, except that here we're reporting what we heard. So this is also known as reported speech. Uh, notice here that there are quotes. Whenever we use direct speech, that is whenever we're repeating someone's words in writing, we always put these quotes. And when we use reported speech or indirect speech, we don't use quotes. Okay. Also notice here that I has become he and want has become wanted. When you're using indirect speech, the tense will always shift to the past because it happened in the past. He told me yesterday or this morning that he wanted coffee. Okay. So this means that if you're using uh, tell, then you must use indirect speech. So here you cannot use tell. You cannot say, he told me he, I want coffee. That's wrong. So when you use say, you use direct speech. However, with say, you can also use indirect speech. Okay? Like this example here. He said he wanted coffee. It's just like this sentence, okay, except we're using say. This means that the verb say 
can take both direct and indirect speech, but tell can only take indirect speech. This is a very important difference. Now, if you look at these two sentences, you will also notice one other important difference, the second difference. Can you tell that difference? Well, that difference is this uh, me over here. This me is known as an object. Okay? If you're using the verb tell, you always need an object. So he told who that he wanted coffee. It can be me, it can be her, him, they, any noun or pronoun. But with tell, you always need an object. Okay, so object, yes, for tell. Some people will make a mistake, and it's a very common mistake. They will say, they will leave the me. They will simply say, he told he wanted coffee. No, 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 it's wrong. He told who? So you need to put that information there. But in the same way, with say, say does not take an object. Okay, so with say, it's very important. No object. If you put an object here, that is wrong. Some people will say, he said me, he wanted coffee. No, completely wrong, don't say that. So it's say, no object. However, there is one small exception to that rule. If you want to put this here, you can't put it, there's no object. But you can say, he said to me, he wanted coffee. Okay, that is okay if you use to, However, that's not so common, so I'm going to take it off. Just remember, with say, no object. With tell, you always need an object. Now, I say that, but there's, again, one small exception to that rule about tell. Look at uh, this sentence. Charlotte tells great stories. Is there an object? No, no object. Charlotte tells who? Me? him, her, no object. Isn't that wrong? Well, if you're talking about stories or if you're talking about, uh, say, jokes, okay, or if you're talking about lies, maybe um, uh, a lot of lies. If you're saying, uh, if you're talking about stories, jokes, or lies, then you don't need an object, but only then. So Charlotte tells great stories, Charlotte tells great jokes, or Charlotte tells a lot of lies, you can leave out the object. All right, quick recap. With say, you can use both direct and indirect speech, but with tell, you can only use indirect speech, remember. Say never takes an object, but tell always takes an object. Just remember that. All right, now let's talk about the difference between speak and talk. Now, for the most part, these two words are interchangeable. That means that you can choose whichever one you want to use, and there's not much difference. However, there is one important difference between the two of them, and that is that speak is used more in formal or important situations, and talk is used more in informal situations. Okay, so in this example over here, I spoke to my boss about quitting my job. This is um, obviously very serious and it's important, so we're using the word speak and a past tense of speak is spoke. So I spoke to my boss about quitting my job. It means I had an important conversation. Uh, in this sentence, I talked to Ashley about arrangements for the party. Clearly, this is not so serious and it's not so formal. So we're using the verb talk. 
because this was more of an informal conversation. I talked to Ashley about arrangements for the party. These two are um, very common expressions that people use when they want to have a conversation with someone. If it's a serious or a formal conversation, you can say, I need to speak to you. A colleague might say this to you or your boss might come and say this to you. And you know that they want to have an important conversation. And, uh, over here, hey, can I talk to you for a moment? That's not so serious, it's not so formal, it's more relaxed, okay? Now there are a couple of uh, other important points that you should know. And that is when we talk about speaking languages, like here, Wanda speaks Spanish, we only use speak, not talk. If you say Wanda talks Spanish, that's wrong. For any language, you have to use speak, okay? Um, and the second important point is that if you're talking about giving speeches, that is standing in front of a crowd and um, speaking to the crowd, you always use speak, okay? Like here, Professor Richardson will speak about the dangers of smoking. This means that Professor Richardson is going to give a lecture. In that case, we always use speak. All right, quick recap. Speak is formal while talk is more informal. If you're talking about languages or about giving speeches, then you always use the verb speak. All right, now it's time for a test to see if you can use these words correctly. Over here, I have four sentences, and all of these sentences have a mistake in them or an error. Your job is to correct the error in each sentence. Let's begin. Number one, he said her that he would wait for her at the train station. Do you see the problem? Well, the problem is that say does not take an object. So if you're going to use say, no object. But if you use tell, you can have an object. So you can do two things. First, you can either do, he said that he would wait for her at the train station, or he told her that he would wait for her at the train station. Both are correct. Now you might ask, what about, why is there a that in this sentence? Why are we using that? Well, I put that to show you that that is optional. That means when you use indirect speech, you can use that if you want or you can leave it out. Okay, so you can even leave it out and say, he told her he would wait for her at the train station. That is also correct. But I will leave that in there. Okay. He told her that he would wait for her at the train station. Number two, Liz told, please don't touch the flowers. What's the problem here? The problem is that this is direct speech. With direct speech, you cannot use the verb tell. You must always use say. So Liz said, please don't touch the flowers. Number three, my brother told he wanted to work in Canada. What's the problem? The problem is that tell always needs to take an object. So my brother told me, or my brother told um, John, it can be any object. My brother told me he wanted to work in Canada. My brother told John he wanted to work in Canada. Or you can say, my brother said he wanted to work in Canada. That's also correct. Last sentence. I'm hoping to talk to some investors at the trade show. The problem here is that it's not wrong, but talk is more of an informal verb, remember. So if we replace this with, I'm hoping to speak 
to some investors at the trade show, it's a better choice because this is more of a formal or a serious situation. All right, I hope you got all of them correct and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you in another lesson.